Another day of cleaning up the land here. It's lunchtime. Actually, it's after lunchtime. I just haven't had time to take a break yet. I'm getting tired, so I need to eat something and refuel here. I've been cutting on these trees here. I got a hackberry here I'm cutting on. I believe that's a hackberry. And then I got a, uh, the one next to it over here is a horse apple tree, which is a bordock. Very hard to cut through. But we're making it. Slowly, but slowly. Now, now, today. So this morning I made some turkey and dill Havarti sandwiches. Just something to keep us going out here. Pretty hard to believe how hot it is out here. This is uh, middle of November and it's uh, about 80 degrees today. So I'll show you kind of what I'm dealing with here. What I got is I got these, this tree is down, but it ain't all the way down. And see some of these branches are still holding it up. So I gotta be careful the way I cut it. That way it don't roll over and crush me. So I'm, I'm cutting off each side, leaving the, the supporting branches still supporting the tree until I get it more cut down. I'll show you how this uh, unearthed here around this back side and you see I got all these trees in here I gotta cut out too all these are down that's quite a mess but you can see here how I just took this tree straight out of the ground isn't that crazy that's the power of wind And I got a tractor over here, but it ain't running. So I stopped and picked up this Cub Cadet last week. And I can't say enough about how uh, how well this has handled this. It's just unbelievable. I didn't think it would actually do it. Now, I did have to plug this tie over here today. Plugging it somewhere. I had to plug this one here because it had a, uh, I ran over something. One of these ties, maybe it's this one. Anyway, put a plug in there and it's worked just fine. So you see what I'm saying here, it's like this branch is still holding this tree in place. And if I cut this one out, it's gonna make this roll. So if it rolled, that branch right there would knock me in the head and crush me. So I'm gonna have to take these branches off first, whittle my way down until I get to a point where I can cut this out and let it go ahead and fall, but it's not there yet. It's a process to keep from getting hurt. So my next mission is to attack this side of the tree, take all this stuff down. That way when it does fall, it ain't got nothing that's going to swing over and hit me in the head. So as you can see, this tree is about five feet off the ground, so maybe six, five or six feet off the ground. So once these supporting branches down here are cut out, it's going to come on down. And I want to make sure that uh, stuff above it don't come down on my head. Well, when you're working on stuff, using equipment, you're going to have issues. So have your toolbox ready. I'm not sure that I have the right tools, all of them I need, but we'll see. I lost some of my tools the other day, so I still got some in storage, so I don't know if I got everything I need, but this is a, I don't know if I can show you here. This uh, blade here shouldn't be bent down to the ground, like so, so I gotta take this blade off, bend it back out. So if I'm getting under there, it looks like a 15 16 is going to work. However, I don't have the right size drive here. So I had the adapter in the other toolbox that uh, fell out in the road. So uh, yeah, I guess it's getting dark and we'll have to tackle this project tomorrow.
But overall, good, productive day. Place is really starting to clean up. Well, it's been a long day here, so we are going to just uh, put some lemon juice on here, some fresh squeezed lemon. Got some lemon pepper, some Italian seasoning, a little bit of garlic on here, a little bit of uh, vegetable oil. We're gonna grill these. Got a little fire going outside, and uh, we're gonna have just some stuffing and call it a day. I'm pretty beat. Look at that beautiful grilled chicken over the open coals. Mm -hmm. it smells delicious.